Hey guys, I'm in here, another tutorial today, and it's going to be a Photoshop tutorial. A lot of people ask me how I change the color of this picture. And it's actually really, really easy. So today I'm going to be talking all about changing color in the Photoshop. I'm going to be showing you how I change the color of the background, how I change the color of the hair, like in this picture right here. And I'm also going to show you some little tips and tricks on how to change the lip color or the eye color. So let's get started. Hello again everyone, welcome to Photoshop. As I said before, I'm using Photoshop CS6, but you can use any other older version of Photoshop. You'll be able to do exactly the same things that I'm doing right now. So I have a picture here that I'm going to be showing you how I changed the background color and I'm going to be changing the color of the dress as well. The first thing that I always, always do is I duplicate the layers. So right here on the background you want to right click on it, press duplicate the layer and press OK. Now we're going to go to image, adjustments and hue saturation. Now, if you want to choose the mask right here, it's going to affect all the colors in the picture. On the hue level right here, if you move it the up and down, you can see how it's changing the colors on the picture, but it's affecting every single color that we have on the picture. Now, if you're going to go to the saturation level, it's going to get really, really saturated or completely desaturated, which is just black and white. And then on the lightness level, um, <clears throat> it's going to get uh, lighter or darker. Okay, I'm just going to leave it back to zero. So we're going to be changing the blue colors here. So instead of master, I'm going to choose blues right here. And today I'm going to be changing it to kind of like a pinkish, purplish color. So I'm going to drag it down this way right here. Okay, so changing it to green. Let's try the other way. Okay, that's great. I'm going to leave it right over here. Now the other colors in the picture are more of a light blue color. So we're going to pick this color right here. I think you call it science. I'm still not sure how you call it. So same thing. We're going to go ahead and drag it this way okay that's awesome I changed the colors right away so I think I'm happy with how it looks I'm just gonna press ok so now what happened was um, it changed the colors of our face just a tiny bit so we're gonna take our eraser I'm gonna get the soft rounded brush and that's the brush that I use for like everything and I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those colors from her face. I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. I'm a little bit sick, but I really wanted to get this uh, tutorial together for you guys. Okay, so here's the before and after. Pretty easy, but we can still improve the colors a little bit. So, Let's go to image, let's go to adjustments, and let's go to selective color. Now here we're going to choose magentas. And over here you have another set of bars. So on this level, if you go this way, it's going to get more red. This way it's going to get more greenish. And remember that you're affecting only the magenta colors. Now if you're going to go this way, it's gonna get more kind of yellowish and this way a lot more purplish now this way it's gonna get bluish and then this way orangey this way it's gonna be just lighter or darker okay so here we're gonna move it up this way just a little bit it's gonna get it a little bit more pink now I'm gonna get it a little bit lighter as well okay that's perfect I'm just gonna press ok so I'm just gonna stop at that for this picture. So I have the second picture here. It's a portrait and I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of the hair. Um, I'm going to say it right away that it is really hard to do it for the dark hair. It is a lot easier for a blonde hair to change the color in Photoshop. If it is a black color, it is so dark that it literally it doesn't 
change into any other color so that's why and when it is light it's really really easy to change it into any color on the rainbow that you want so my model in the picture she has like an ombre styled hair tips are lighter than the roots so uh, we're gonna change it into pink because I thought it looks really really nice with kind of like a cool toned background that I have going on here uh, so I'm gonna start with duplicating the layer like I always do right click duplicate the layer okay we're gonna go ahead into image adjustments and hue saturation so now uh, instead of master I'm gonna choose the yellows because that's kind of the color of the hair and I'm gonna drag it this way to change it into a pink color okay I think this is quite perfect I'm just gonna press OK so now that you've noticed that um, her face changed to pink color as well because the face is kinda yellow toned uh, but that's fine it's really really easy to um, change so we're gonna go ahead and create a layer mask so you're gonna click this little button right here and then you're gonna press Control I for PC. I'm not sure what you would use for Mac, but if you're a Mac user, all you gotta do is you're gonna go into Image Adjustments, and there is a little click here, Invert. You're gonna click that, and you're gonna see that the layer mask uh, turned black. So you're doing great. That's what's gonna happen. Um, you're gonna pick up your uh, brush tool, and you're gonna pick a soft, rounded brush. That's what I use for like everything that I do in Photoshop and you're just gonna start painting on and of course you're um, gonna avoid the skin area face area only paint on top of the hair alright here you go so that was pretty easy that's how it looks before and after so on this third picture I'm just going to show you guys how to change makeup color and maybe the eye color. Uh, again it's all really really simple so just follow me. Uh, we're going to be zooming in on her lips. Oops that's not zooming in. Alright. Zoom in. Here we go. Uh, again we're going to duplicate the layer. Right click. Okay. Ready. So right over here in this area you see these two squares, you're going to choose the top one, you're going to double click on it and I'm going to choose this kind of coral-ish color. So to choose your color you simply slide this up or down and you can choose any color you desire really. Uh, I decided to go with this kind of coral color. Um, so we're going to pick our brush, um, obviously I'm going to get it a lot smaller, alright and you're just going to start painting it on the lips and if you messed up like I did here it's fine just take your eraser any erase at all and you'll be able to do it because you've duplicated the layer okay so now you're gonna back up see how it looks from far away and here in the opacity level we're gonna drag it down quite a bit I think we're gonna leave it at that and you could also highlight and shadow the lips so it looks a little bit more natural but you can see how I do this in my other tutorial which is called how to highlight and shadow in Photoshop um, now I'm gonna just show you how I change the color of the eyes and there's a lot of ways to do it but I'm gonna show you this way today because it's probably the easiest one to do so again you're gonna duplicate the layer and we're gonna get a little bit closer I uh, you're gonna go to image adjustments I'm gonna use selective color for this so we're gonna choose here the neutrals and over here on the yellow bar we're gonna slide it the, to the left side and you can see it makes the picture a lot cooler I think we're gonna stop over here so again you're gonna create your layer mask and then you're gonna invert it with Control I or you can manually invert it I'm gonna pick up your brush and you're gonna go ahead and paint it all over iris here you go and it looks beautiful, beautiful blue eyes. This is before and this is after. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Super duper easy and I hope you guys liked it. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thumbs up if you like it. Comment what you want to see next. And don't forget to subscribe to see a new video. I'm going to be making a new video every single week from now on. Expect it around Tuesday or Wednesday. And have a great day. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, it's Irene. <laughs> hey guys, it's Irene. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey guys. Irene here. <laughs> this is dumb. This is really dumb.